If you're going through a separation and have a residential property at stake, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Joel Camacho, a Southern California real estate broker, and today we're diving into a sensitive topic, selling your home during a divorce or separation. My team and I have helped many clients through this process, so stay with me because there are some key insights coming up. Unfortunately, divorce seems to be a growing issue, and while I'm not a divorce attorney and this is not legal advice, I hope to answer common questions and guide you through the real estate aspects of this difficult time. Whether you have one home or multiple properties, many decisions will have to be made, so let's get into it. For the sake of simplicity, let's assume both parties are on the same page about what to do with the property. Divorce can get complicated, but to keep this video manageable, we're focusing on scenarios where both spouses are in agreement, either to sell or keep the home. Now, when selling, you'll have to consider mortgages, taxes, and any liens that will need to be paid off. Whatever is left over is the net proceeds, and this is typically divided in half between the spouses unless otherwise specified. Quick pro tip to watch out for is capital gains tax. In California, if you've had a significant amount of equity build in your property, you might face additional taxes due to the property's appreciation. This is a question for your CPA, and if you don't have one, feel free to write me and I can refer you a couple your way. If one spouse is giving up their stake in the property, settling the home's equity becomes a critical issue. This often involves a cash payout. For example, one spouse might dip into their retirement funds or assets other than cash might be divided between the two parties to settle the equity. Refinancing the property to cash out the needed equity is another common approach. However, it's crucial to note that refinancing has its own challenges, and there's one challenge in particular that you need to be aware of. It requires a loan size that is manageable on a single income and post-separation. Loan qualification criteria could be tougher to meet. So if you're considering refinancing as a way to settle your spouse's share of the home's equity, comprehensive financial planning is critical. It really is a complicated decision with a lot of long-term implications, but a well thought out strategy might make it manageable. Honestly, most of the time, selling the home is the cleanest solution. It lets both parties start new without the complexities of refinancing or all this crazy asset division to split up the equity. Now, here's the thing. If you can't agree, the court may have to decide for you, adding another layer of uncertainty. Planning to buy another property through the divorce, it might be wise to wait until the divorce is finalized or secure your spouse's consent. In California, purchasing before you've settled could turn that property into a shared asset, complicating the divorce even further, and we do not want that. So think twice, consult legal advice before making such a move. Now, there's a major pitfall I'll touch on shortly. Deciding to sell a property during a divorce is a significant step. And the first question often is, who do you consult? While attorneys can refer you to a real estate agent, having two separate attorneys might lead to multiple referrals. The role of a real estate agent in this delicate situation cannot be overstated your agent should have experience in divorce property sales, be transparent and impartial to both parties. An agent who is savvy in handling emotionally charged and complex situations will be invaluable. Remember, your personal circumstances such as divorce should not be part of the sales negotiations. This is an essential point to clarify with any prospective agent you talk with. Their ability to keep matters confidential can significantly impact the negotiation process. It's pivotal in navigating the complexities of selling a home during a divorce. Now, if you're searching for a knowledgeable agent in your area, don't hesitate to reach out. Even if it's a location my team doesn't serve, we can help you find the best divorce agent in your area. Feel free to reach out. Our website is in the description and in our profile and you could contact us through that. All right, before you go, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. If you don't follow and like the video, you might just miss out on some crazy real estate tips we've got coming for you. Keep an eye out for more tips in future videos. Take care and good luck.